Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For a radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, tuning in online via our podcast at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music, we're glad you all could join us as well. This week, a brand new book came out that is fascinating, not only because of what it shares about the author, but also his relationship with his father that many of us know. We're excited to welcome Adam Nimoy to our broadcast today. He's a director, but also the author of the new book that's the number one new release on Amazon, The Most Human, Reconciling with My Father, Leonard Nimoy. We're going to talk to Adam not only about the writing of the book, but what it's been like for him to share his own journey and challenges with us, and what he hopes you as readers are able to take away from the book yourself. If you all have not gotten your copy of the book, it is available through our friends at Amazon or, of course, your favorite local bookstore. Adam, thank you again for spending some time with us. Appreciate the time. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Look, the pleasure is definitely all mine. As I was just saying, of course, the book just came out this week. At the time we're having this conversation, it's just a day out, but already a number one new release on Amazon. What has it been like for you, Adam, to not only be able to share your your story and journey with us, but to see the way that people are connecting with it? Well, I, I hope people can connect with it. I mean, it's a, it's a positive story of my relationship with my dad. I do humanize him a little bit. We do mm-hmm. take a peek behind the curtain of the man who played Mr. Spock, a very iconic character. Um, and, um, and, and I'm very honest about my relationship with my dad, which was complicated, and, and there was some conflict. However, uh, we finally found a way to, to reconcile with one another, and we had a close and loving relationship the last years of my father's life. Um, so I'm hoping that people uh, can relate to the story. It's just a father-son story, some of the difficulties and the challenges of being in a father-son relationship. Um, but in the end, I think it's a, it's a very warm, positive message that there can be some reconciliation. For my dad and myself, we had to go into recovery to do it in sobriety, but, but we, we, it's a triumph for us, and I'm really grateful that we had a close and loving relationship the last years of my dad's life. I, I think the, the other side of this, too, Adam, that is so fascinating as people are, are, are getting into the book is, as you mentioned, it is the father-son dynamic. Of course, yourself being a father, too. Talk to us about that, what it was like for you to write about your own experiences with fatherhood and then having to reflect on, of course, your, your father's relationship with you as well. Well, I, I try to, you know, not make the same mistakes that, you know, that I think my father may have made and I made as a son. Uh, I learned a lot from the relationship with my dad, and I wanted to have a very different relationship with my kids. The, the, the fact is that my dad and I came from very different backgrounds. My dad was, you know, born in the Depression in Boston. Um, his parents were, were very withholding. They were not very emotional with him. When he wanted to become an actor, they, they basically disowned him. He came to California at age 18 with nothing. Um, he, and he had struggled. It was a struggle for him before Star Trek came along. I had a very different upbringing. I mean, when I was young, Star Trek was on the air at age 10, and, yeah. and I, we had much more security in, 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 in my household. I had a very loving mother who I was very close to, and I just had a different upbringing than my dad. So right away, I was going to be... When I had my own kids, I was a very different man than my dad. Yet still, I managed to make my own mistakes, and my kids found plenty of reasons to hate me. So I, I had to really, you know, it, it was very challenging for me just to have, you know, to have kids. Uh, these relationships are challenging to begin with. Um, and so I had, to, and the tools that I used to try to reconcile with my dad, I, I, I in the book, you're going to see the most human. These are a lot of tools of recovery. I had to go into recovery. My dad went into recovery. Um, it was sobriety that brought us back together. And some of the tools that I learned, I used with my, in, in trying to work with my own kids. There's a one scene in the book, uh, Adam, where you're talking about your own experience with fatherhood, and of course, you know your your own child feeling feeling left out, feeling abandoned, feeling like you had left them uh, in a situation. I thought that was really interesting because it, it it made me think about, as you were just saying, that you know even though your father and you, of course, grew up in different times, the challenges that are just there in being a father, you know, being in relationships, and just being you know growing into ourselves is something also interesting is it also part of the connective tissue you hope people see that you know a lot of times even when you're trying to do your best mistakes will happen and and learning how to be able to grow from those 
Yeah, I mean, look, um, a lot of the, the program of recovery is about forgiving others. Um, most important, one of the best lessons I have learned is about how, how to forgive yourself. We all mis- make mistakes. We're all human. I mean, the, the most human, Leonard is human. Uh, I am human. And, uh, you know, the fact is we just have to be uh, very open to that and, and, and not berate ourselves and forgive other people for making mistakes. Uh, that is the key to it. Look, the, the, the book is all about trying to get past all that and, and not holding grudges and not holding resentment and, and trying to find a way forward uh, and resolving a conflict. That is the point of the book. I'm trying to provide a model for people. All families have dysfunction, almost all families, anecdotally I can say in my experience, many families have dysfunction, whether it's with a parent, with a sibling, or, or even with your own children. I, and, and my point is that there are ways, there is hope. Um, I found the hope through 12-step recovery with my father, of uh, finding ways to get over and resolve some of these situations so that people can stay close and connected. We live in a fractured world. This is a small one story, but I think it's resonating with people about how to stay close as a family. Yeah, I love the way you said that, Adam. I think it's one story, but I think it's so layered in that also dealing even with faith, that comes up in the book, right? And and you refer to in the book as, you know, as, as your higher power, but also being able to see the relationships you've been able to form. Talk to us about that experience, what you hope people get from that, the importance of having someone in your corner to help you. As you were making decisions about marriage, you know, and thinking about things like that, you had people you could turn to. How important was that for you on your, on your path? Well, I mean, it, it, it all it is, goes back to my relationship with my dad. I mean, the most human is also a celebration of, of the fact that he was very supportive of me when I needed him. Um, the last half of the book is about some personal tragedy uh, in my, well, the last third of the book, personal tragedy that I suffered in my life. And my dad was my go-to guy. Um, he was, he gave me the emotional support I needed. He became the dad I always wanted and needed him to be. That was impossible just a few years before. Impossible. And once we had reconciled with one another, we really never looked back at the wreckage of our past. The point is that you, that we find in recovery that you can be right and hold on to your grudges. I mean, I was right about my dad. Some things happened with him that were really unfortunate. And I do, I, I, I do talk a little bit about that in the book without vilifying him, without blaming him, without pointing a finger. But the, uh, the other point is that if you want to be happy, sometimes you have to let that stuff go. And that's what we did. I made an amends to my dad. I let go of a lot of the resentment I had towards him, and he was ready as well. After that, we had a very close relationship and never really looked back at the wreckage of our past, as we say in recovery. Um, and, you know, and the same thing is true with my, you know, I, I talk about divorce. I, I got divorced when yeah. I went into recovery. Uh, I'm very close now with my ex-wife. We're, very, we, we're a big emotional support for each other. That is all due to, you know, practicing my program, which I still actively practice. I'm 20 years sober now, and I'm still going to meetings. Such a powerful example, I think, of what's possible for all of us, Adam, and so glad that you could share it in the book and share some time with us. Again, everyone, Adam Nimoy has been our guest. The book is The Most Human, Reconciling with My Father, Leonard Nimoy. It is available now, as I mentioned, through our friends at Amazon.com or your favorite local bookstore, as I mentioned, too, already a number one new release. Congratulations again, Adam, on the success of the book, and, and definitely looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you, Cyrus. I really appreciate your time, and live long as prosper. Thank you, you as well. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let us go make today amazing. Take care.